Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to show you that how you can create a tip calculator using binding and also the MVVM model. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to find out that what exactly do we need for our tip calculator. From a model view view model perspective, we need to enter the amount we need to select the tip percentage and then finally it will calculate the tip and display it to the user. And also we need some sort of a choices like 10% tip, 15%, 20%, 25% and so on. So for that I'm going to go ahead and create a model and I'm going to call this tip view, well, view models. And then inside over here I can create a new file that will represent the tip view model. So let's go ahead and do that tip view model. Okay, so tip view model, we will be using Swift UI. We will also be using Combine. It will be a class which will be called tip view model. The reason that we're creating a class and not a structure is that we need to use a bindable object and bindable object only works on classes and not structures. The only requirement of the bindable object is that you must implement the did change event. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to call it pass through subject in which we are going to pass in the whole model uh, and then this is never really going to fail. Great. So now let's go ahead and define the structure for the tip view model. Well the tip view model will have some sort of an amount. So this amount will be coming from a text field so that's why we'll Go ahead and make a string. The amount will have some sort of a percentages, so tip percentage. And percentage, we're just going to use uh, integers, so integer equals to zero. Also, the final tip amount, so this will be the final tip amount. This can also be null because maybe someone types in some letters in the text box, so we won't be able to create or to calculate the tip amount for numbers. We also need some sort of preloaded tip choices displayed on the screen. So let's go ahead and create tip choices. Tip choices, I'm just going to say 10%, 15%, 20%, and 25%. All right, that's it. Now let's go ahead and see that how we can actually use this tip view model. So I'm going to jump back into content view. You can see the content view is not really using anything right now. It simply displays the text and that's pretty much it. So how can we start using the tip view model? We're going to create private var tip view model and I'm just going to initialize it to tip view model. But since I want the changes to also refresh or render the body again, I will also mark this with object binding, which means that any time the tip view model actually throws or sends out an event, this is binding. So everything that I'm using for the, from the, using the tip view model as a binding expression inside the body, it will get refreshed. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create the interface. We need a text box or a text field. We need a segmented control. And we need, we need some sort of a text that will display the tip amount. So we need three different things. We can actually use a vertical stack. And I can actually go ahead and create a text field. Now the text field does take a binding expression. Um, so what we are going to, we need to pass in a binding expression which is of type uh, string. We already have that. So tip view model dot amount. All right. This is a syntax for binding expression. This means that anything that is inside the tip view model dot amount will be displayed in the text field or will be assigned to the text field. But whatever you type in the text field will automatically update the text, uh, the tip view model dot amount property. The next one is the placeholder, which is the text. I'm just going to say enter amount. That's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, add a little bit of padding also. 
Let's go ahead and resume it and see how it actually looks like. Okay, it looks pretty nice, that's fine. Now the next one is the segmented control. So we're gonna create a segmented control and we need to pass in some sort of a selection. Now selection is that when you select in an item or a choice from a segmented control, where would that property go? So the selection would go into the tip view model dot tip percentage. In the tip view model, we already have the tip percentage, which is an integer property. So this means that anytime you select anything from a segmented control, it is going to update the tip view model tip percentage property. We still need to create our segmented control. So let's go ahead and do that for each tip view model dot tip choices. We're gonna get a choice in and then text and we can actually display the choices. Since the choices are an integer, I need to do a string interpolation over here, dot tag choice. Okay, let's go ahead and see, and now you can see our uh, segmented control being displayed. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of padding. Okay, looks nice. Now the final thing that we need to add is a text. So this will be the final thing that is going to be displayed over here. So your tip amount will be displayed here. All right, so now we need to create a function that will calculate the tip. So I'm gonna go into the segmented control over here and right before the padding, I'm gonna add the tap action, which means that whenever I tap on a particular uh, segmented item, and I can say self dot tip vm dot calculate tip. Now this particular function calculate tip obviously does not exist. So I need to create that particular function. So let's go ahead and jump into tip view model. And over here we are going to create our calculate tip function. Function calculate tip. So calculate tip, I'm not really passing anything to calculate tip function because I already have uh, all the things because of the binding. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the amount equals to double the amount, else we're just gonna return and not really going to do anything. Self.tip equals to, so this is the actual tip that we are calculating multiply by double tip percentage, and then divide by 100, okay? Now, the final thing we need to do is, although the tip percentage is calculated, it needs to notify the content view, or the view itself, that you need to refresh it so that we can show you the percentage. And right now, we are not even showing the percentage. I mean, I can simply do something over here um, I can simply say, oops, over here, we can actually say tip vm dot tip, which is in double, so we need to unwrap it, but not a good idea to unwrap it like this. So I can also do some sort of expression over here. So I can say over here maybe tip vm dot tip, if it is equals to nil, then you can enter some message if you want or leave it blank. Else we are simply going to go ahead and say tip vm dot tip. And now you can actually unwrap it because you know it's safe because you have already checked it right over here. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and build that. The final thing that you need to do in the tip view model is you need to send the event. So did change event. So self dot did change dot send. And now you can send in self, which in this case is a tip view model. Let's go ahead and build that again. And I think now we are ready to test it out. I'm gonna to go to the content view and let's go ahead and check out the canvas. Sometime you will see that the canvas is not going to allow you to enter text values. 
uh, in that case we will have to run it on the simulator itself and then it will allow you to do that but let's see if it actually allows us to run it on uh, on the preview All right, the Xcode preview was not really working, so I have to launch the actual app, as you can see. Now I can go ahead and enter some amount and look at the percentages, and you can see that everything is working correctly. All right, so there you go. You can actually create a tip calculator using uh, SwiftUI and also the MVVM model. And you saw that how MVVM model allows you to separate out all of those different things and kind of control the view, the logic behind the view and to provide the data to the view so the view can update itself. I will be creating more of these videos where I will show you the exact uh, workings of the MVVM model, uh, but, this is, uh, but this is kind of like an introductory to create a tip calculator. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much. Hey, if you want to support my work, then check out my latest course on Udemy. It's called SwiftUI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple platform on any Apple device. And it will, it's currently uh, around 3.5 hours of course, but I'm still working on this course to make it much uh, better. You can see that there are a lot of different sections that are coming soon. I'm still working on it, but you can already get the early preview of 3.5 hours of video. Uh, this also covers MVVM and also implements or covers MVVM using a network request, if you're interested in that. And these courses, when you buy these courses, make sure that you use the code that is in the description. Um, so there are a lot of courses in the description of the YouTube video that you're watching. Click on the link and then you will get the best deal. And to be really honest, if you use the coupon that I'm providing you, I get to keep much like bigger chunk of the revenue, in other words, all right? So if you want to support my work, if you want me to create these videos, uh, if you like these videos, then please support by buying the courses um, and it will benefit everyone. And if you have any questions, you know, go ahead and ask those questions in the YouTube comments. But check out my courses, check out the links in the description of YouTube video and uh, that's pretty much it thank you so much for your continuous support